These images are not real. These people are not real. In fact, none of this is real. These are all AI generated images. And now I'm gonna show you how to make them. Let's make some stunning images like these using the latest Flux model. It can create realistic images with perfect text overlays, all for free and online. So you don't need an expensive PC with high-end specs, and there's no need for complex installations or downloads. The tool we're going to use today is called Shacker AI. Shacker AI has literally thousands of models for stable diffusion and also the latest Flux model. It has different model types like Checkpoints and LoRa's, all relevant to their base models. Let's select the model type as Checkpoint, the base model as Flux 1, and sort by highest popularity. Then we'll select this Flux 1 model. Now, you can either download the model if you want to run it locally on your PC, or you can run the model online by clicking on Run Model. It will open Shacker AI's image generator, allowing you to create images with this model. Uh, to get started, just type what you want in the prompt box. For example, if I want to create an image of a 25-year-old woman holding a small piece of paper with the text, I'm not real, written on it, I'll enter that in the prompt. Then select the image size based on your needs, Click on Generate, and in just a few seconds, Shacker AI will create the image. Now, let's say I want a poster image of some fruits flying around. And just like that, the AI creates these beautiful images. Click on the Download button to save them to your device. You can literally type whatever you want. For example, an alligator wearing a tuxedo at a pool party, and there it is. Or how about a strawberry that looks like an elephant? How about uh, astronauts on Mars enjoying a barbecue with a dinosaur dressed as a chef? Or even a hippo and a flamingo dancing in a subway? You get my point. Shacker AI can create anything you can imagine. Now let me show you how to run this Flux model on Automatic 1111 Web UI. First, mark this model as Favorite, then click on Automatic 1111 on the left. This will open the interface with the checkpoint already set to Flux 1. Let's start creating some incredible images by typing a prompt into the prompt box. If you don't know what to write, just go to chatgpt.com and type something like, give me 10 image prompts for fashion photography. You can request any type of images you want. Be specific. I want the prompts to include camera angle, time of day, ISO, shutter speed, and photography style. And just like that, boom you've got highly detailed prompts for fashion photography. Now, simply copy one of those prompts and paste it into Shacker AI and click on Generate. In just a few seconds, you'll get the perfect images. To download the image, click on the Download button and the image will be downloaded to your device. You can keep copying and pasting the rest of the prompts and watch as more stunning images like these come to life. To get good results, write exactly what you want to see in the prompt section. And in the negative prompt section, list the things you don't want to see, like bad hands, extra fingers, poor quality, etc. When selecting the sampler method, use the option that's recommended by the checkpoint model you've chosen. You can check this value on the model page. Set the sampling steps between 20 to 30. The more steps, the better the quality, but it will take longer to generate. Keep it too low and it'll generate faster, but with lower quality. You can adjust the size and resolution of your image by setting the width and height values. Here are some common sizes. Landscape, portrait, and square. 1024 by 1024 will create a square. 1024 by 768 will give you a landscape image. And if you reverse it, you get a portrait size image. You can also choose the number of images you want for the prompt you wrote. But remember, more images will cost you more credits. You can set the, the CFG scale value between 5 and 7.5, though it's better to use the value recommended by the model you selected. You can check that value on the model page. Okay, now let's try something interesting. I've written this prompt here. A beautiful 21-year-old redhead woman with perfect blue eyes, feminine face, cute, hyper-realistic, and all other details. And here's the image that I got. Looks great, but you can make it look like a specific person or a specific style by using Laura's. Laura, low rank adaptation, helps you to generate specific styles or images. You can choose a Laura by going to the model section and under that you'll see the Loris. If you don't see any Loris, head to the home page, then go to the models page. Filter by model type as Laura and base model as Flux 1 and choose the style of image you like. I'm going to choose the fashion model style and mark it as favorite. Now I can see that Laura in the my model section. 
Let's select this LoRa and run the same prompt to see the difference. It looks more natural and has stunning details. Similarly, let me show you one more LoRa with a different style. I'll mark this one as a favorite, select it, and run the same prompt again to see what we get. This one looks similar to the first, but with subtle differences. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. The first image is without any LoRa, the second uses the fashion photography LoRa, and the last one uses the photorealistic LoRa. Let me know in the comments which one you liked the most. The coolest thing about Flux is that it can generate text inside the images really well. Let me show you how with some product photography images. I'll write a prompt like product photography, perfume, and use the word type any text that you want to see in the image. Flux will then create images with the text on the product or any other object. Similarly, if I want to see a text overlay in the image, I can simply type a prompt for that. Mention the object, the background, and the text that you want to see in the image. And just like that, we get some cool images like these. The prompt adherence in this Flux model is insane. Let's do a fun experiment to prove it. I want the AI to create an image with four fashion models of different races, each holding a white placard that displays a different word. So here's the prompt I gave it, and here's what the AI created from that prompt. Check out the results. Look how perfectly it followed the prompt and created this stunning image. Fashion models? Different races, white placards, one word on each placard. So what do the placards say? You're right. Subscribe to AI Automation Labs. Hit that subscribe button now. Shacker AI gives 200 free tokens every day that you can use to generate free images. This means you can create around 10 to 15 free images per day using the Flux model. But if you want to create even more images for fewer tokens, you can switch to the stable diffusion models. Head over to the Models page, filter with any Stable Diffusion Base model, and select a checkpoint. Once you've marked it as a favorite, it will now be available in the Checkpoint drop-down selection. For example, if I want a model specifically for architecture and space design, I can filter for that and choose from the architecture-specific models. Similarly, for interior design, I can choose a specific model or a LoRa specific to that field. Need some ideas? You can ask ChatGPT for architecture and interior design prompts. Copy and paste them into Shacker AI and generate some cool images like these. Some of these models have hundreds of additional settings and features that you can use to enhance, edit, upscale, get consistent characters, in-paint, out-paint, reference poses, and so much more. You can even create your own models on Shacker AI and earn money when someone uses your model for image generation. You can also train your own LoRa using your own images. Just click on Train LoRa, upload your images, and then start training. So, what are you waiting for? The website link is in the video description. Check out Shacker AI and have fun with it. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.